Welcome to Office Hours in Instagram Live Q&A. My name is John Byrne and I am the chairperson of the marketing and sales programs at St. Ambrose University. For the next 20 minutes, I will be answering questions that have been submitted by prospective students and I would also encourage you to submit your questions online and we'll address them during this time or at the end. So, um, tell you a little bit about myself. Following a six year career in commercial banking, I joined St. Ambrose back in 1991. So I've been on the faculty here for 28 years and it's been one of the best decisions of my life. I have very fond memories of when I went through college and I wanted to continue to relive my campus experiences. So teaching has been a fantastic way to do it. And I really enjoy teaching, marketing and sales. And most importantly, I like helping students try to figure out where they wanna to go to next in their lives. I'd like to tell you a little bit about our program. Uh, the marketing and sales programs at St. Ambrose really focus on what is one of the most fundamental and important functions of business. That is to help solve people's problems, help them get what they need and what they want. In marketing, we study what do people need, when do they need it, where do they want it, where can they get it, and why do they want it. And if we do it well enough, they'll be willing to exchange their money for what we provide. In marketing and sales, we have 12 dedicated professionals delivering our curriculum. These people have the highest degrees in their disciplines, and in addition, they bring a wealth of business experience to the classroom. Our faculty have taught, or excuse me, our faculty have worked in Fortune 500 companies, have been entrepreneurs, and have worked internationally. And they're some of the best in the business. And one of the reasons why I think they're so good is because they're really passionate about what they do and they like helping students. Our classes are very interactive and they're personable and we just have a lot of fun. So in addition to um, challenging you in the classroom, we're really vested in helping you become successful. So I think at this time, I'm gonna go to some of the questions that have been posted in the last week and answer some of those for you. And again, I invite you to submit additional questions that you may have at this time, and I would be happy to answer them. So one question that we often get from students is, what kind of positions can you work on or work in with a marketing degree? And the answer to that is many, many different types of positions. But in particular, in marketing and sales, you can pursue positions in sales. Everybody in every organization needs people to generate revenues. Not only that, you can go into advertising. You can go into marketing research. There are many jobs and an increasing number of jobs in the area of social media. Some of our students take jobs in event planning. They also take jobs in brand management. And a growing field is also marketing analytics. So many of you are on the web, like you are right now, and there's a whole field of study tracking how people work through their social media. Where do they click on? How long do they click on? What do they click on after they click on X or Y? And so this has opened up a whole wealth of opportunities. So these are just a few types of the jobs that you can get. Okay. Another question that was submitted earlier is, how are the marketing programs at St. Ambrose University different than other schools? Well, it's hard for me to speak about what other schools are doing, but I can tell you what St. Ambrose is doing. We truly are a teaching institution, and at the heart of what we do is helping our students in the classroom become professionally prepared to go out and succeed after they graduate from us. And our classroom experiences are fun, and we do a great job of bringing in real world application and merging that with academic theory so that you're prepared to be successful as soon as you leave the institution. Okay, looking at another question that was submitted, 
Uh, this is a personal one. What is my favorite marketing class to teach and why? And I struggle with this for a little bit because to be honest, I enjoy teaching every class that I have. But if I were to pick a favorite, I probably would tell you that it is marketing strategy. Marketing strategy is our capstone course that students usually take at the end of their curriculum. And one of the things that we do in there that I really like is I partner my students with a live organization in town. It might be a for-profit business or a not-for-profit business. But my students get hands-on experience in helping these organizations, often who do not have marketing expertise or just really struggling to manage all the resources. And my students come in as the experts and the consultants and they really make a true difference in the lives of this organization. And that sort of plays to the mission of St. Ambrose where we're here to help better our community. But in addition, it gives the students some great practical experience, gives them a taste of what it's going to be like when they leave here, and also just the good feeling that they've helped an organization move forward. Okay, do we have any other questions online? Again, type those in at any time and we'll address those as they come up. Another question that was proposed was, are internships required to earn a degree in marketing? The answer is no, but probably in the near future, we're looking at making that a requirement. In our sales program, we do require internships and it's been a, a fantastic move. Uh, and even though the internships are not required, they are highly and strongly recommended. And that's one of the reasons that we're actually looking at making this a requirement in the near future. So what an internship does, of course, is it gives you, the student, an opportunity to apply what you're learning in the classroom into a place of work. And there are so many things that you pick up from an internship, just from being in the professional environment, learning professional behavior, learning from mentors, and partnering with people that you might be working with in the future. Many of our student interns will receive a job offer from the company that they interned with. And sometimes they don't, or sometimes they receive the offer, but they choose to go elsewhere. But regardless of what they choose to do, the internship is a valuable experience in the student's educational process. Okay, another question that was submitted is, what does the marketing club do? I love talking about our marketing club. This was established about seven years ago and it was established by students and it was really designed to try to provide more co-curricular activities related to the marketing major. So our marketing major has about 30 to 40 students who are involved and some of the activities that they engage in are usually annual trips to major Midwestern cities. Chicago is one of our favorites. And our students will go for a couple of days, meet with businesses, receive some mentoring from people in the industry, learn about internships, learn about full job opportunities, and really just an opportunity to see what's going on outside of the classroom. Our marketing club is also active on campus, helps other departments market their events. We host events where we have guest speakers, and participate in other marketing type activities. And I would highly encourage you to always get involved in the club of your academic major. And so we have a sales club uh, that our sales majors participate in and it's really not enough anymore just to come to school and earn high grades in your classes. You really need to expand your education in doing some of those extracurricular and co-curricular activities. Okay, looking down the list, another question that came across was, what kind of majors uh, can a marketing minor be compared with, or be paired with, and how is that helpful? And that's a great question, and at St. Ambrose, we offer over 80 different majors. And not all of our students major in marketing, but we have a number of students across the university who have a first love, that might be history or English or the theater, and they have some room and some opportunities to pick up a minor. A marketing minor or a sales minor are fantastic additions 
to a major that students might be interested in. In particular, we have found that our students in the fine arts areas, art, music, and theater, can really benefit from a minor in marketing. Because in marketing, we're teaching them how to promote and how to sell whatever business that they're in. And if you look at what most art, music, or theater majors are going to do after they graduate, they're probably going to be involved in some enterprise where they're going to be required to help promote the business or to sell the business to patrons. And so the background in marketing gives them an extra edge versus if they didn't have any experience in marketing or in sales. Another area where the minor is very popular is in our kinesiology area where many of our students are interested in opening up their own fitness centers or becoming personal trainers. And like the fine arts, if you go into these types of professions, a big part of your job is probably attracting customers and drawing people into your business. And a background in marketing or in sales is just a ticket to help you enhance your resume and become successful in your profession. All right. Another question that has come about is, what advice, what other advice would you offer to prospective students? Well, being here for 28 years, I have a lot of advice to offer students. And it's terrific for our marketing majors and minors, but I think here I'm also just speaking to the college student in general. And here's a, a list of things that I put together that I think would be helpful to you in your college career, regardless of the major you pick, and even if you choose to come join us at St. Ambrose, which we hope you do, or if you choose to go elsewhere. But some of the advice that I would offer is, number one, be proactive. We are here to help you. And if you ask for help, you will probably have five to ten people lining up to help you achieve your goals. But it is your responsibility as a college student to create your own happiness and to go get what you want. And so you really need to take on that responsibility for creating your own experience and not being afraid to do it. Number two, don't be afraid to fail. Failure is part of the learning process. And anybody who's accomplished success or greatness in their lives will tell you that they failed a little bit or a lot along the way of doing that. Number three, get involved in your campus. The college experience is so much more than just going to class. It's getting engaged with other students, becoming involved in organizations, and many of the memories that you have 10, 15, 20 years after you graduate will be those experiences outside of the classroom. Number four, get an internship. We had that question earlier, but I want to reemphasize that. That's one of the best things that you can do in today's world to prepare you for the next level. Number five, I would encourage you to study abroad. Study abroad is a wonderful experience. Employers love our marketing and sales majors who have studied abroad. When you study abroad, you're basically telling the whole world that I'm not afraid to get out of my comfort zone. I'm not afraid to try some new ideas. And guess what? That's what businesses are looking for. They don't want people just to come in and do what they're told to do. They want people to come in with great ideas, with new initiatives, and studying abroad in addition to being a wonderful experience and seeing a part of the great rest of the world also conveys that personality characteristic. Okay, so we have a question that was submitted uh, during our session and it says, hello, our professors at St. Ambrose University good about working with student athletes? And I would answer that with a yes. As a matter of fact, about 50% of our, stu our, our students participate in varsity athletics. So it's part of our core and part of our being is that uh, many of our student athletes um, you know, are very active outside of the classroom. And what's wonderful about student athletes is that they know how to work and they know how to time manage, probably out of necessity. Many of my best students are student athletes. And sure, there are times between 
uh, traveling away from games that we need to make some arrangements to take a test earlier, take it after they get back. Uh, but that's part of the, the culture here at St. Ambrose and we welcome student athletes and are happy to work with them uh, where they're also pursuing something that they love outside of the classroom. Getting back to, okay, some of the other advice. Uh, go on a weekend retreat. We have these here at St. Ambrose. Most places have them. It's important when you're studying uh, and working really hard, you also need to get some stress relief in there and sort of figure out what your purpose is. It's part of why you come to college, not only to pick up a degree, to figure out what you want to do with the rest of your life. So you want to make sure you take care of yourself physically, get enough sleep, eat healthy, and take time just to make sure you're not stressed out and uh, you know, feeling good about your spiritual life. If you are struggling, seek help. We have resources here to help, but it's important to reach out. Uh, our world today is more time crunch and there's a lot of stress out there, but we have resources to help people with that and we'd encourage you to do that. And the last piece of advice I would suggest is to have fun. Life is short. College is, can be one of the greatest experiences of your life and you should fully embrace it and uh, make it a great memory. And that's one of the reasons that I teach here is because college was some of the great years of my life and wanted a chance to come back and relive some of those things. So before we sign off, I'll see if there are any other questions on the board here. And it looks like we've answered all the questions that have come in. So I'd like to thank you for joining me for um, Instagram Q&A Live and Office Hours. Have a great evening.